A lovely ball on the inside. Williams with the try. And yes, Tinter said he's away. This is try number three for the Lions. Shane, Lions Thor's coming up in a few months. Everyone's getting really excited about that. Being selected on the Lions, unbelievable honour. You've had that honour three times. When I think of the squad now, if the squad was selected last year, it'd be a totally different squad oh, yeah, that'd be selected yeah. this year. For me personally, I don't think it's just down to the very best players. I think it's the very best personalities as well. You spend a lot of time away from the training paddock from games, a lot of time that people don't see as well. And if you haven't got those personalities and you're all like in training or play mode all the time, it's a long six, seven weeks. Well, I think the British and Irish Lions is the embodiment of the spirit of rugby because through all the different challenges united four nations to become this one body. And to be able to achieve any of that, to be successful, you have to have a good team spirit. You have to have camaraderie. I think that's what the Lions is all about. On the field, two teams, they do, they, they hate each other because yes. there's so much at stake. Oof. Personally, there's so much at stake. You know, you, you've got to have the better this guy that's opposite you and you've got to collectively beat this team that's in front of you as well. Mm. So when you get on the Lions tour, people say, how long does it take for you to gel and bond? It's instant. Yeah, I know. It's instant. If you don't have a team culture or team spirit, like you're not a team, mm. And the best thing is, is that whether you're inexperienced in the international circuit like I was, or you're like yourself and you're World Player of the Year just the year previous, the moment you step into Lions territory, like no one is bigger than the badge. Yeah. And everything you do is geared towards putting value into that badge. And that means getting to know one another. So I don't care what anyone says, I learn more about a lad in a pub in 30 minutes yeah. than I will six months in a gym. Yeah, don't. Getting to know you. Yeah. Getting to know everyone else in the team, I think, is so important. And then you put the crowd in with that, and you're in a foreign land, and it's just amazing. And whenever I talk about the Lions, I just, I just get a smile oh. on my face, because there wasn't really many bad memories about it, to be honest with you. Of course. I think it was your second try. It might have been your first, actually. I was so happy for you, because... <laughs> I mean, you took my head off for the celebration. <laughs> <laughs> it was the biggest hit I took all day. <laughs> I, I was so chuffed, because, you know, we're teammates, but also competitors for the same position. Yeah. And I know it'd been a like a tough tour for yourself, but for you to start in that test match and then score and then score again, I was just like, this is yeah. this is how it should be. Do you know what I mean? This yeah, is how yeah. it's meant to feel. This means so much to the crowd. Like like I say, same for the players. We were 2-0 down. The crowd could have very easily have gone, ah. Teams rubbish, you know, but they just kept supporting right to the end. But we went out, we played some good rugby. Yeah. Then I remember Gerald Davis just coming round and put his hands on my shoulder. He said, Oh, look, we haven't won this series, but your character and what you've done today, all of you, I'm just so proud of you. And Gerald Davis is my hero. And I just remember thinking, Oh my god, I played in the third test, we've won it. This is just it, it's perfect. I love the way in which you describe our travelling fans, and they are the best fans in the world. Yeah. It's quite hard to try and get that message across or for people to understand how it feels like. And so for anyone that's ever played sport, um, sang in a choir, arts drum, whatever it was, wherever your parents or guardians came and you wanted to get their approval, imagine running out and times in that by 80,000. Mm. Because that's genuinely how it feels. It's amazing. and. You know, for me as an Englishman to have Welsh fans cheering me on, but that's probably a bigger achievement than getting selected for the Lions. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't get okay, used to that won't happen again. Yeah, no, that definitely won't happen. I'm so excited. I think there's so many similarities between the tour that we were on and this one. I think they have that many test match animals to go out and try and tame the beast, which is South Africa. It's just left for us just to wish the British and Irish Lions all the very best of luck. Yeah. Cheers, boys. Well, cheers to that. Cheers, Bob. Cheers, lads. Cheers, All the guys. very best of luck. <sighs> Lions. <laughs> Lions. <laughs> Lions. <laughs> I love it.